Hey guys, so I got two prophecies yesterday. I'm going to break them up into two different videos. This is the first video. It has a lot in it, and it took um, quite a lot to do all the footnoting for it. There's going to be a link um, in the description box if you want to um, see the written version. There, These are the topics for this first video. I am the false messiah, the anointed, the obedient faithful, Jesus and my protection, hear the word of the Lord, and the king's plans. So the first one, I am, I am the God of the universe, choose me. The debate rages between humanity if there is free will or if God predestines everything. Humanity rarely understands the answer is both. You have the free will to make choices. Clearly, you have been given a will. Also, evil would not exist if there was not free will. But there are also some things that are preset and predetermined. The final day of the earth is predetermined. Certain choices you make may have an override. I am the final authority and may have a reason to override. Many things in the broad brush strokes of life and history I preset. But many things uh, that you do on a daily basis are your choice. If it were solely my choice, I would like to see all of humanity make proper choices and believe the proper things. My first goal is to have what is best for you. But love is only love if a person can willfully choose to love. So I had to make man with a free will to see who would love me on their own. I see all from on high. I watch the thoughts and actions of humanity. I know who has pure motives toward me or not. To love me from the heart and to do so with a pure heart that simply does without manipulation, this is what I desire and require. Imagine if you were in a romantic relationship. What would be more appealing, a partner who is passionately in love with you or a partner who was forced to be with you and told how to act and what to do to appear to love you? You would sincerely know the difference too. I know if I am a priority in your life, if you crave to know me and find what I find important, you will crave to know me by reading my words and praying to me. Many people in this generation have been steered off course by well-meaning leadership. Forget what you have been told about me. Learn about me for yourself. If you really liked someone, would it be better to hear about them or would it be better to talk with them? Of course, knowing the source would be of more interest and value than knowing someone who knows the source. Find me. Read my words in the Bible. See my patience and love balanced with my righteous standards that can only end in justice and wrath for all those who wallow in unrighteousness. I am the Lord God, your maker. I want what is best for you. If you seek me through my words, all of them, read the entire Bible, I will bless you with the understanding of those words. If you reject me to avoid my words, to have excuses for not knowing me, these choices all lack wisdom and prudence. It is unwise to make choices without knowing all the information for both sides. Know me. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Find truth so that you can see deception and make an educated choice. I love you. Time for this world is running out. A predetermined date has been chosen for its end and it approaches quickly. Do not make an eternal choice based on only one side of the story. The evil one had made it seem as if his choice is the only way. This is a deception. The world is about to see the worst deception in the history of mankind. It approaches and has already begun. Know the truth before the deception is the only thing left on the earth. Be warned. Be educated about what is to come. Read my words. What is to come is in my word. I can give you understanding if you read my book. Brush aside your excuses. Pick up the Bible and read it. Do not do a read the Bible in one year plan. You need to consume my words more quickly than that. If you have the ability to watch a two-hour movie, then you have the ability to read my word for two hours as well. 
How you spend your time is evidence of your priorities. Read my word. The second one, the false messiah. There is a man about to rise. He is a deception. He is not the Antichrist. Although those who listen to others instead of read my word may say that he is. He is the false messiah. The false messiah will promote the Antichrist. The Antichrist is still in hiding to the public. He is not a world leader or on the world stage. However, the false messiah will lead multitudes away from the truth into deception. He will draw many to follow the Antichrist. Those that choose the false messiah will stay for the tribulation. There are two choices, me or the evil one. If you know me, the false messiah will repel you. If you know of me, you may be swayed to follow the false messiah. Read my word. This is the way to know the difference. The false messiah is soon to rise. Be warned. Third one, my anointed, you are ready. Continue to pray for your brethren for their preparations. Continue in me as you have been. I long to see your faces. Wait patiently in me until your time is here to come to me. Keep your focus on me as you have been doing. The fourth one, to my obedient faithful. You love me deeply. You have not been sifted to the same depths as the anointed, but you crave my words. You pray from your heart and you serve me faithfully. I have a special plan to use you in ways you would not be able to grasp. Trust me. Continue to pray for your brethren. Continue to seek me. Continue to serve until I call you to go for training. You will be taken with other like-minded faithful people off of this earth without harm. You will not be here for the war in the U.S. You will go to a location I will not disclose. You will learn and grow and be brought into use in my great plan to help rescue the half-borns and bring them in as the first harvest. Your love, commitment, and passion for me will not be overlooked. Lean into me in these last minutes. Continue to fill your cisterns. You bless me. The fifth one. Jesus is my protection. I shared with Julie in a dream my son on the cross. She could feel his pain and see those onlookers and feel their hate. After his death, she could see the extra and undue torture that the evil one added to him. I told her that it was the evil one's last effort at revenge and lashing out, and that he did more physical and spiritual pain and torture than was appropriate. Then I told her that once Jesus was resurrected from the dead, that the evil one no longer had any access to bring any harm to Jesus. In the evil one's own admission of losing, he tried to make his final efforts as bad as possible to Jesus. Jesus conquered all sin and death and evil on the cross. Those who accept his free gift as the substitutionary sacrifice for sin in the afterlife will have the same end result as Jesus. The evil one will have no access to them. This is is why for those who are the most serious for me, often suffer. The evil one tries to harm them in one of the last efforts to manifest his own anger and evil against mine, harming them. The evil one uses many methods. He can attack health or those around you, or he can try to make earthly things difficult. But rest assured, all those with true faith have access to my power and can have angelic protection. Some, like the anointed, have been allowed to be sifted, to be proven in character, and to be in leadership for me. But most have only to bring true faith, and I will provide my protections. You will see evidence of my protection in mere moments. As I show my provisions and miracles through my anointed, Many of them have already begun to have provisions and miracles, true miraculous happenings. This will increase until they go. When they go to Geboa to be anointed by me, do not fret if you are left here for the war. Understand that I want to do the same miracles and provisions and more for you. If you have true faith in me 
and make your requests in faith. I want to have some here that know me fully as an example of who I am. Yes, the book of Exodus has many miracles, but this generation is about to see and experience greater miracles than these. I am the Lord God Almighty, and my works for those with true faith are about to be on display. Stand firm for those with full faith that are here for the war. Choose to be used by me by trusting me. Trust that I can and I will protect and provide. Okay, the sixth one. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. I have a multifaceted plan and I will use those who are here full of faith in mighty ways in every phase until the end when my son comes to reign. Do not compare your situation to another. Do not covet another. Only focus on me and trust that I will use you where you are. I have it all in my hand. I will not forsake my own. If you find yourself without provisions and protections, stop and reevaluate your view of me. You may not be worshiping me, but a version of me that you have made. Read my words. This is who I am. Know the real me and cry out to me and I will hear you. Time is short. The end is truly very near. Know me and know my words before it is too late. Everyone on earth will make a choice to believe fully in me or to follow the false Messiah. Be wise. Know me. What leads you? Love, kindness, and right? Or selfishness, hatred, and deception? It is important to know because one cannot be led by both. One who loves would never lie because it is unloving to do so. There are two types of people, righteous and unrighteous. What does this mean? It is defined in my word. Righteousness is after God's heart and unrighteousness is after the evil one's heart. Many people want to imagine that they are righteous and a Christian and even saved, but they live led by unrighteousness. This means they are led by the evil one. To explain what the difference is between righteousness and unrighteousness, earlier this year I pressed Julie to make a video series about sanctification. Within the series is much information about righteousness and unrighteousness. Explore them and then look into my words to verify that it is true. Look for yourself. I am a righteous God and I expect righteousness of those who claim to be mine. Find out what is righteous and unrighteous to be sure you are in agreement with me. I am the standard. I set the standard for humanity. To believe that humanity has the ability to veer from the standard and still be seen as righteous is lacking wisdom. This is a deception. Find the truth in my word. I am peace. I am aware. There are deceptions that are broadly and wrongly called religions that bring people to peace. Man's attempts at peace through certain disciplines are futile. I am the only source of peace. Avoid deceptions at trying to achieve peace the way man sees it through Eastern religion. This is a deception. If you are entangled in this deception, stop and seek me, the author of true peace. There are only two choices for the soul, me, the author of life and eternal salvation, and the evil one, the author of deception. All efforts at world religions are really only two choices, me or deception. If you choose me, you can only come through my son, the Messiah, Jesus Christ. There is no other way. No other religious leader, no other path. This is truth. The seventh one, the king's plan. Humanity needs to brace and prepare. The kings have spoken dark sentences and have a plan for war. To achieve this, they will sacrifice a billion people as targets in their war. They intend to reduce the number of people to manage. The only way to be spared in this horrifying time that is to come upon the earth is through me. I can and will protect my own. Those with true faith 
Those who accept and confess my son Jesus is the Messiah. They will be spared from being part of the one billion to die by the king's hands. Understand the kings are in league with one another. They have made promises to one another to aim at certain populated areas to annihilate the populations. Being in a rural area is not a recipe for safety either. The only safety is in me. After the bombs fall, even the kings will be perplexed how those who are mine are spared. Entire areas will be rubble, but one house here or there will be standing and the occupants unharmed. There is not one villain in this deception. All the kings have agreed. Their goal, total control of the people, the only safety is full faith in me. I will provide for my own, much like I did for the Israelites as they exited Egypt. But I am so mighty that I will do it for individuals across much space. Water, power, shelter, food will all be provided miraculously for mine. At times, I will tell a person of full faith to go to a different location. Follow me if this occurs. I will keep mine safe and provided for. There will be no doubt who has my favor. After the U.S. war, there will be a false peace. The wealthy will offer graciously to help those affected by the war, especially businesses. The economy will be in poor shape, and they will offer to help the people in order to help the economy. They will seem like heroes, giving of their own money. But be warned, do not take part in this deception. After the false peace will be a sudden strong war with much destructive power. Those that are left that took the money from the wealthy will have no way to repay, and it will be forced to become slaves of the wealthy. This is the plan. They mean to entrap not only the Americans, but the whole world into a financial box where the wealthy have all the money and power and all the people become slaves and in fear for food and shelter so that they can control them. This will lead to the Antichrist's mark of the beast, where he will enforce all to receive his mark or they will have no food or shelter. Some are thinking they will survive this in a self-sustaining property. Understand the kings have aimed to take all property. This self-provision will not be allowed. The only way to survive their slavery is through me. Those that trust me will be provided for. Be advised, I am the only hope. My son is the way to me. I am faithful to my own. Those with true faith, they do not fear or worry or try to do things on their own. They pray and they ask for help and then they actually trust it will be done even if they do not see evidence of it right away. I always provide, often not in a human's ideal timing, but it is always the right time. Do not fall for deception. Find me. I am the only way. I am who I am. I am the creator of the universe. I am the one and only God. I crave to know you as one who passionately seeks after me. Seek me and you will find me. Drop your pride. Forget what others say. Then read my word. Then answer. Who do you say that I am? But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Matthew six thirty three. So if you want a copy of this, there's a link in the description box below. It just goes to like a dud of a website and you can just download um, the text of it. And um, I'm going to make another video of the second prophecy that came in. And that one will have um, a link of a chart about miracles and stuff too. Okay, see you next time.